Now, you might be shaken, but would you be stirred to share your name with probably the world's most famous secret agent? The Other Fellow, a new documentary by Aussie filmmaker Matthew Bauer, takes us around the world asking people who just happen to be called Bond. James Bond. <laughs> and what it's like to share the name with 007. I've worked in a few different countries and currently uh, working in Iraq and everyone knows James Bond is, you know? Some of these people don't even have a TV. As I grew older, I went and watched every single one of them that came out. The spy who loved me from Russia with love, they never stopped. My name is James Lee Bond. I'll be 87 the fifth day of September. I just never did care for James Bond. Oh, just love James Lee Bond is my favourite. <laughs> Matthew Bauer's documentary has its Australian premiere in Melbourne and he joins us in the studio this morning. We are so morning. excited Good to talk morning. to you. Thank you. I liked all the James Bond puns in the intro there. <laughs> <You're> honest, <laughs> you love we're, a pun. We're great fans of a good pun on this show, Matthew. <laughs> so I, I think this is a genius idea. Where, where did the idea first come to you? Uh, I mean, first, I mean, I thought of the idea and then tried to contact them online. Um, and the first thing I found is they're very hard to find because you can't, you can't Google these guys. They're not allowed to join Facebook yeah. with their real name. Um, but then when I finally spoke with them, they, you know, I expected all the martini jokes and that sort of thing, but they actually spoke more about, like, dealing with the police and dealing with the media and even having to deal with stalkers. And I kind of realised there was a bit more of a film to be had there. Yeah. Wow, I've been lucky enough to have a quick look at this okay. yesterday evening, but just for people at home wondering, what were their parents thinking? They've watched a <laughs> Bond film, you know, they're feeling all excited about their, their newborn. What were they thinking? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the central question of the film in the end. Um, I mean, look, in the 60s, it was different. You know, back in the day, it's a bit like calling someone maybe Jason Bourne these days. You know, nobody thought this is the 60th anniversary this year. Nobody could predict it was going to go for 60 years. And mm. they thought, hey, it'll be fine. These days, if people do it, they tend to have a very good reason. Um, and the film definitely goes into to, to that and why. Now, uh, tell us about some of the diverse James Bonds you've come across. There's a, a Swedish guy, an African-American James Bond who was up on what, murder charges? Yes, we wanted a diverse cast because we wanted a lot of people who were kind of like James Bond yeah. and a lot of people who we see as the exact opposite. Um, so there's, there's a few gay James Bond, there's a few African-American James Bonds in there. Um, but yeah, but our one in Indiana, uh, we came across this guy who had been charged with murder, whose name was James Bond, uh, and contacted him in prison. Um, and, yeah, his contention is that he's been targeted by the local police oh, force I see. because wow. he's an African-American named James Bond. Wow. Um, yeah, and I, mean, I don't know how much the film agrees with that or not, but that's mm. his contention, at least, yeah. Is he still in jail? He is not right. still in jail. Oh. Uh, I don't want to spoil I don't, too much okay, okay, spoiler. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, you'll see what happens with him. Okay. Is it a blessing or a curse overall, did you find? Because I did mention yeah. earlier to Michael and Tony, like, if you're on the dating apps and you're James Bond, but as you say, you probably can't even get on those apps because well, you look like a... A fraud. Yeah, I mean, you'd think it would work. The problem is people think you're lying all, yeah. all the time. So even though you think, you can imagine if you go up to a girl and say, hey, my name's James Bond, they're going to think that it's a pickup <laughs> line don't know. and trying something. Would they? Yeah, they yeah. would. They tend to often get accused of lying. And if they, if they try and make a, a restaurant reservation, people think they're making a prank phone call. Um, so yeah, so in some ways it's a blessing, but I think generally, ge generally it's a curse kind of every day of your life with this. Yeah, it's, it seemed like lots of fun making it. Did you have fun chasing all these characters down? and a bit of a labour of love, I guess, but... It, it was fun. great fun, yeah. I, I have a weird address book in my phone. Um, <laughs> if ever I need a lawyer or a doctor or anyone, really, um, yeah, yeah, I've got a James Bond there somewhere to help out. <laughs> who is your favourite James Bond? I've picked mine. Oh, who's my favourite? As in the actor? Uh, no, as, as in, in oh, I see. real life James right. Bond. Because I've met a, a real Bond, by the way. Really? Pierce Brosnan, okay. the Irish Bond. Not how you would think, it's not because we all know each other. I literally yes. bumped into him on Collins Street in Melbourne. Wow. And when he was apologising, I heard that distinctive voice and was right. like shocked. I just stared at him and walked away. <laughs> it's not a great story. Oh, he sounds yet. like a gentleman, though, if he was apologising. He was apologising. I'm like, whoa, oh, wow. you're a 
okay yeah. bye have yeah, a nice I mean, it's day. funny i mean the, the the actors who played the character kind of go through this as well because yeah. they're typecast and they spend their entire life being associated with this character as well and so i think that you know my james bonds in the film kind of get what that's like <sighs> so tomorrow night so if people want to go along to have a look yeah, we are premiering at the Melbourne Documentary Film Festival at 6.30pm at Cinema Nova uh, tomorrow evening, which is the Aussie premiere. Uh, so any Bond fans and out there... Or um, any James yeah. Bonds who happen to live in Melbourne or can get a flight and... We contacted yeah. one and he's going to the Strokes concert instead, oh. no. apparently. He, st he signed his email 007 at the end, so I think <laughs> he got the joke. Um, but yes, if any James Bonds are out there in Melbourne and would like to come along, uh, we'll certainly give you some tickets. Oh, surely there's some out there that well, we there will be find. now. Yeah, Lots surely. Surely. Thank you so much Thanks, for coming Matthew. in. Love the documentary. Thank you. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you.